So it has come to my attention that someone who I'm not going to name, as I respect his right to privacy, has released sensitive and potentially compromising information about my personal life as well as my online presence. This person is Nate, and don't let that face fool you. You may know him as Junimu, hey I'm Nate, let's procrastinate, or the creator of the world of Twistopia. But I've come to realize that Nate isn't exactly a saint himself. He says that he's, quote, generally pretty chill, end quote. But does someone who's generally pretty chill openly support arson? I think not. You'd think that Nate would be a young man who cares about wildlife, but think again. Not long ago, he was spotted trying to capture a little bird with a net. Could you stay subscribed to someone who tried to capture a little bird with a net? Now, I'm all for people looking stylish, especially when it comes to hair. But isn't it a little bit suspicious that Nate's hairstyle stays completely sturdy, even when hit adversely by gravity? Why doesn't his hair flop forward? I've always thought Nate was a man of peace, but his recent actions have proven otherwise. As shown in this photograph, he sought to strike me down with a pickleball paddle. You can see by the fear on my face that this was completely unexpected, and I was luckily able to defend myself. Lastly, there has been a surge in data these last few years regarding the ethical issues when it comes to cloning human DNA. It seems as though Nate has unleashed his creative capabilities in this area, as he was spotted in a Junimu video cloning himself. Do you really want to stay subscribed to someone who clones themselves? Act now. Call Nate out for his actions and bring him to justice.